The Nevada Department of Employment, Training and Rehabilitation will begin sending letters to unemployment insurance recipients directing them to continue filing their weekly claims for federal emergency unemployment compensation, even though the extended benefit program expires at the end of 2013. Congress has reached a budget agreement that does not include extending emergency unemployment compensation benefits at this time. As a result, about 17,000 Nevadans currently receiving emergency Unemployment compensation will be abruptly cut off. Each week, another 800 claimants who are receiving regular unemployment, which allows for a maximum of 26 weeks, will exhaust their benefits and not be able to move to the Emergency Unemployment Compensation Program. There are just over 27,000 people on the regular unemployment benefits program. Nevada is now one step closer to becoming one of just six drone testing sites across the country. The state legislature's interim finance committee unanimously voted to spend $1.46 million on drones. This money will get the drone program up and running if the Federal Aviation Administration chooses Nevada as a test site. Assemblyman John Hamburg says being chosen will bring money and jobs to the state. New online truck stop maps launched by the Nevada Department of Transportation will assist truck and RV drivers traveling Nevada interstates. The maps indicate the location of each truck stop on Interstate 15 and 80 and list the number of truck parking spots and the availability of diesel fuel, food, restrooms, and showers at each location. The maps, along with truck permitting information, are available by clicking the truck icon in the center right of the NevadaDot.com homepage. Truck stop information for United States routes will be coming soon. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. That's your news across Nevada.